body are connected by fascia, which surrounds the tissue, nerves, organs, and all other structures in the body. But fascia can become unhealthy by overuse, injury, or even by everyday repetitive movement. Foam rolling serves to keep fascia healthy by circulating fresh, oxygenated blood through it. The healthier the fascia, the better you move. Ultimately, foam rolling can help to diminish aches and pains, increase flexibility, increase range of motion, enhance performance, recovery. Whether you are a weekend warrior, an endurance athlete, or simply looking to alleviate the wear and tear of everyday living, you will benefit from foam rolling. How do I roll? Foam rolling does not need to be complicated or elaborate. In fact, it can be as easy as one, two, three. One, one minute is better than none. Simply taking the time to address one area for one minute will improve your movement and is better than not rolling at all. Two, two zones. When selecting a muscle to roll, divide the area into two zones. Apply techniques to each zone slowly while remembering to breathe. Three, three motions for quick results. The three general techniques are rolling, spans, and stretching. Rolling, roll back and forth a few inches at a time while working across the two zones. Spans, when you hit a tender area, wave, Wave the area side to side until you feel relief. Stretching. Compress a spot while stretching the muscle to a full range of motion. This pin and stretch motion increases circulation and mobility. When rolling, remember your ABCs. A. Always start from the ground up. Start with rolling the calves, quads, glutes, then back. As you get more experienced, Trigger Point offers guidance on additional spots to work or specific problem areas. B. Breathe to recover and relax. The key to rolling is to breathe deeply. This will remind you to move slowly and to relax the muscles you roll. C. Consistency is better than intensity. We recommend rolling out three to five times a week, preferably before and after activity. Rolling on a regular basis is key. Don't just roll when you ache. Why does it hurt at times? People new to foam rolling may notice some initial discomfort. This is similar to the pain that occurs at times during a massage. Most of us have experienced some soreness when pressure is put on tender muscles and tense areas. You can think of foam rolling the same way. When you compress sensory receptors, it can feel uncomfortable. But don't worry, this is completely normal and with a little practice, the process becomes enjoyable. Remember, foam rolling is not causing the pain. Foam rolling is removing the pain.